I'll see you guys in the gym shortly, see if I can document uh, some video of the workout. And yeah, it's a beautiful day, sun shining, and yeah. I wanted to show you my lunch kit here. You guys might have seen this on Instagram a couple times. Um, this is what keeps me accountable, 100%. I never miss a meal with these things. Um, really, this is only like the vehicle to ensure that you have all your meals. All right, so we're here in uh, Lougheed Mall. There's a fitness world in the mall. Pretty much gonna show you some of the stuff that I like to use in the gym. Let's see, I bring a towel and stuff. So these are my imitation Chuck Taylors. Um, I use these for squats and deadlifts. It's a flat shoe. You'll if you ever Google that, then you know you'll see that. Is actually a good shoe for lifting so um, yeah I love those things and uh, probably gonna wear out soon but I'll have to get another pair maybe I'll get the legit chucks this time but uh, yeah and then some BCAAs for the intro workout so see you guys inside all right so what you guys see me doing here is uh, just some pre warm-up uh, some technique that I learned from Johnny Candido is how to keep the upper back tight and you do that as you do a shoulder press behind the neck that's about the same tightness that you want throughout the squat the second technique here as you see me do uh, a few more warm-up sets is breaking at the knees and then opening up the hips to get a deeper squat uh, all while keeping your back uh, relatively straight uh, no curve in the back so uh, you can find all his techniques in Candido HQ's YouTube channel. Now you'll see me do a number of warm-up sets. Uh, just do en enough warm-up sets to uh, get you as quickly as possible to your working sets. Now we're going to go into a working set of about 235 pounds for six solid reps. You'll notice that um, my form stays relatively the same to my warm-up sets and uh, this is very important that we don't go too heavy too quickly because you'll, you'll see that uh, your form will actually give on heavier weights. So really just taking things slow. Six repetitions for the first set at about 235 pounds. We just want clean reps. We don't want any struggle or strain throughout the reps. And just the same form as my warm up. Same thing applies. Uh, upper back is tight, knees breaking at the knees, and opening up the hips. And ensure that you keep good breathing throughout the movements. And just make sure that we get to uh, six solid repetitions. All right, so I only uh, got two out of the three sets on camera, but this is also an important set, is uh, my second set. Uh, you'll notice that, you know, it's not that heavy of a weight but progressively and ment mentally is actually takes about the same mental strength to lift uh, three plates as it is two plates in fact it might even be harder to concentrate on the lower weights but all, all throughout it we got good form and you know got got the reps that I need and we'll slowly progress about five ten pounds every single week about 11 30 p.m. and I am just having my last meal which is a chicken breast and spinach with mushrooms and green peppers keeping a low carb at nighttime because you know the carbs won't really do anything um, you know your body's not going to use that energy at nighttime and it will just store that as body fat so um, keep me really clean probably gonna have one more protein shake at the end of the night uh, just because the program that I'm doing is going to require um, a lot more protein. I will be building lean muscle, a lot of strength and a lot of power. So my body's going to need that, um, especially when the muscles are, are recovering. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today. hope you guys enjoyed the uh, videos that I, uh, of the workout today. Um, felt really good about the squat form. And yeah, I mean, my body is definitely changing. What's the topic for today? Pretty much is 
pretty much is time. How do I fit fitness and nutrition around a full-time career, around a, um, a growing business that I'm, I'm running? What are you doing with your time? Because time is the most expensive commodity in the world. You can make all this money. You can lose all this money. There's a chance you can get it back. But when you're talking about time, you can't get time back. I invite you guys to try saying, hey, well, today I'm going to use all of the day to be effective and be productive. You know, start your morning like that. I mean, there might be, you might open up your schedule book and be like, hey, man, I got 100 meetings now. Like, how am I going to get this done? You know, there's no way I can get this done. Well, you're right. You're not going to get this done if you just told yourself you're not going to get this done. So, I mean, in a nutshell, guys, that's how fitness is, right? If you can't think you're going to lift this weight, if you can't think you're going to reach a certain weight or um, this certain pinnacle, then you just told yourself you're not going to do it. So, um, bottom line is you got to be positive. You got to keep yourself from thinking those negative things and um, number one is just in the morning when you you something's not going right you know you say oh man no there's no way I can do that you know just think about what you're saying and if it's telling yourself that you can't do that then you need to change the way you're thinking but yeah man so the end of the day uh, I'm gonna continue to vlog tomorrow's active rest day uh, if there's no video that I can come up with with something cool then uh, I will see you on when uh, on Wednesday or Thursday for chest day. All right, I will uh, see you guys on the other side. Have a good night. Peace.